Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's March 20th, and I was just talking to Papa, and he told me that he wanted me to do another video this morning, and uh, he wanted me to talk about uplifting one another. because the end days, they're upon us. So he has a message for all the watchmen on the wall and he's using me to give this message to my brothers and sisters. So what he's saying is that he wants us to focus on uplifting each other, not correcting each other. Because what he was sharing with me is that his lost sheep are going on YouTube searching for answers and they're finding uh, some of the watchmen on the wall correcting each other. And what's happening is his lost sheep are getting confused. That was, that was Yeshua's words. His lost sheep are getting confused and not knowing who to believe. So what he wants from his watchmen on the wall is he wants us to share the gospel, the ones that are teachers and our elders that are, you know, uh, uh, teachers and pastors and that kind of thing. He wants you to share his word, stick to the gospel and uplift your brothers and sisters. He doesn't want us to get into a big correction war on YouTube. It's a pretty simple message. It's confusing his, his lost sheep, and it makes absolute sense to me. Now, I understand being a baby in Christ that it's really important and everybody's afraid to, you know, mislead anybody. And, uh, you know, we all fear the Father. We honor the Father. But again, we're missing the, the big picture. If you really look at it, it's pretty simple. What's more important? What's more important? Being right and correcting your brother and sister on YouTube or sticking to Papa's word and, and uplifting, uplifting each other. Okay, this came straight from Yeshua about five minutes ago. Um, He loves you all very much. We're his children. We're his sheep. It's a very, very critical, critical time right now. Critical time. And I'm just going to talk about for a second about when I'm seeing things. When I'm, and I'm a baby in Christ. So I can say this from my perspective. You know, when I'm looking at things online and I'm seeing, you know, elders that I look up to that I watch and I'm seeing them correct each other and there's mistakes because, you know, this thing was wrong that, um, it, it changes folk. It changes the focus. Okay. I know that all the watchmen adore Yeshua and we all want to do the right thing. But, and we all have different jobs to do in the body of the Christ, in the body of Christ. Okay. So I'm aware of that. Um, but what I'm saying is don't forget the big, don't forget what the big picture is. Okay. It's loving our brothers and sisters and uplifting them. Okay. Not going back and forth on, you know, when the, when the, uh, spring, equinox and and believe me i know that's all very important i'm not saying that okay i'm saying that uh, and by the way i do want to say that i know that my brothers and sisters you know we all get it wrong and we all humble ourselves and we ask forgiveness please forgive us we didn't have it right guess what none of us know everything we are all ignorant and we're all getting bits and pieces we're all getting bits and pieces 
And when when I hear something from one of the watchmen and they they are, you know, just, you know, in their spirit, they're just they know that they're hearing it and they just out of love and they're humble. I know they're hearing it. Okay, we don't know what Papa's doing, but I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I know and I have learned early that we are all being tested. We're all being tested. And I want to throw this out there. This is going to blow your mind. Maybe it won't blow your mind. It blew mine. Um, Although I have a noodle for a brain. Praise God. I'm not intelligent. I don't want to be intelligent. I just want to know the truth. And I want it all to come from my papa. Okay, so I'm going to share something with you. Something that was brought to my attention is that, and that everyone that has a YouTube channel needs to be aware of that is loving Yeshua and trying to do the right thing. And is I've noticed, well, I'm just going to say this, pay close attention to the names of the mockers and scoffers. Like pay, pay close attention to that. Okay. Uh, even go into their page and see how many subscribers they have. And the reason I'm telling you to pay attention to their names in the uh, cycle of the negative comments is because uh, Papa does everything. Everything is by design. There is absolutely nothing, not one thing that doesn't have a meaning. Everything has a meaning. Okay. There's been days that I go out on my homeless ministry and I meet my brothers and sisters. And then I go home and I write their names down and I look up the meaning of their names and realize that the father just gave me a beautiful message, a beautiful message. And I wouldn't have known it if I wouldn't have paid attention to it. So next time you see somebody on your page that is giving you a hard time, look up the meaning of their name. Papa could be trying to tell you something, okay? And the other thing I want to say is be very careful who you're going back and forth with, back and forth with on your YouTube channel arguing, if that's what you're doing, because you could be arguing with the father or the son and being tested. So I think it's best that you just do one of these. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Just stay on that narrow path. So I wanted to share that because I thought that was really cool. It's something that I actually was shown. Um, So we don't want to sidetrack. We don't want to sidetrack our brothers and sisters that are looking for answers. Okay. Um, Papa knows all your hearts, by the way. Papa knows when somebody truly in their heart believes something and is, is truly searching for the answer. And we're all waiting on, on our beautiful King's return. He knows, he knows when you, you know, in your heart or seeking Uh, just to be helpful and just longing for him. And then he knows the ones that are just doing it from pride and ego and wanting to be right. Okay, so I want to tell you something. The best place to be is last in line, okay, on this earth. You want to be last in line. And if you're last in line, and um, that's a good thing in Jesus' name. That is a good thing. So I hope everybody thought to thank Papa this morning when they opened their eyes. I hope they they uh, took the time to do communion and just say thank you and start their day in the powerful name of Jesus, okay? Because you're going to see your, your days get better and better. You're going to see them get better and better. And uh, I love each and every one of you. And uh, I just hope that... that uh, this, this uplifts you. Uh, if you're lost, I just, in, you know, looking and searching, that's my, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Beautiful brothers and sisters, don't focus on the back and forth. Okay. Just focus on talking to Yeshua constantly, just talking to him. Okay. Talking to him and, and just putting him first throughout your day, baby steps. Okay. We're all babies. Um, we're all children, children of God. So, um, no pressure, no pressure. Okay. Just do the best you can and know that at the end of the day, 
It's your heart. It's your heart. It's your heart and honoring the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and being humble. Okay? I love you all so much and uh, have a beautiful day. Peace and love in Jesus' name.